Okay, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, so I filmed this whole week, uh, um, like a, a video, and it ended up turning out how I not expected it to turn out. So now I'm filming a new one, and I want to go into depth, depth, depth. I can't speak into depth. You get what I mean. Um, in my photography, kind of like how I started, how I got into it, what I started with, you know. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so it all started off with videography, video, yeah, whatever, YouTube. So basically, YouTube. Well, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You know, it's Monday, it's current day. I'm making this video and I'm posting it the same day, and it's it's. 3 30 so anyways it all started on this tablet um i started recording videos and yeah i just started recording videos started posting them to youtube um maybe i'll make a, a video on reacting to those because those are cringy those are more cringy than these cringy videos and i was cringe before i'm still cringy but it's okay because cringe is awesome so after that tablet I got this iPhone 5, um, this was my first iPhone, this was my first love of my life, so I'm just kidding, um, yes I still have it, uh, it turned on, but it doesn't let you, like, log in, because one day, uh, it was updating, and then I didn't know it was updating, and I took it out of the house, and then yeah. Bye bye iPhone 5. That's it. So I was doing videos on here too and uh cringy things like musically. Um so I started with video first and then I had no phone. Um I had yeah, I didn't have a phone. And then I got my iPhone 7. Um which I have and I still use. Um so then I got my iPhone 7, which still works, and I still use, but, um, yeah, look at my beautiful photo. Um, so yeah, I got the iPhone 7, and I started taking pictures with that, and then I made an Instagram. I wasn't very confident with my photography back then, and I still kind I am right now but a little bit more than back then because I know what I'm doing now. But before I was just like taking pictures for fun and I didn't know what I was doing. I just did it because I liked it. So before the whole Instagram thing, um, again, I was just taking pictures for fun and it just kind of started out as taking pictures of people because I had an iPhone 7 and everyone had an iPhone six and all this crazy stuff and whatever so i started taking pictures for people like my friends and whatever and so those somehow ended up to be something uh bigger than that um which now obviously i have more pictures and i know what i'm doing i feel like repeat myself every video but anyways my first post on instagram was november 6th 2018 wow um that's crazy wow that's insane so that was my first post those right there you can't really see them just go on my instagram page you can see them more in detail and whatever and then from there it was just my family you know my close two friends you know and from there it just kind of grew on and I started taking pictures of views and stuff like that, like, you know, uh, sunsets, sunrises, you know, just random stuff. And I grew more interest into it. And then I got a camera, this camera right here, which is absolutely garbage. I don't recommend it. Um, uh, yeah, it's, you can't do anything. You can't change the shutter speed. You can't change the aperture. You can't do nothing on here. Can't even change, well, you can change the ISO. You can change the eye and you can change the white balance but if you can't change the shutter speed then or or you can't change the aperture you know like what are you supposed to do nothing like but i ended up taking some really good photos with this camera 
and I didn't find that out until today actually um so on screen they look horrible and not horrible not all of them but um on computer screen and on phone screen they don't look so bad they actually look nice um so I'm gonna put some up here I'm just gonna put it right here you know I'm just gonna put it right there right right there there's one there there's one there there's one there they're probably all the same photos because that's probably the only ones that came out that were good because it was just a steel shot um after that camera i got this gopro gopro um this didn't really do any use and then i got this cyber shot notice notice how like like it's it's always been sony 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 sony's great um so then i got this cyber sh shot oh it's still turned on okay there's no memory card but you know i took some photos with this it's a good camera i do actually recommend this one if you're getting into photography and you want a cheap camera this is only 100 bucks not that expensive i do recommend that so yeah it's a good camera um you can probably vlog with that actually too yeah it's, it's, it's a good camera i guess in between all that i got my iphone as you can see from the reflection my iphone x r max i don't know um the phone that i'm recording on i got that then people just started coming to me because i have an iphone x now and it has portrait mode and my phone doesn't have portrait mode i want you to take pictures of me then i started taking pictures of them then you know i started getting better at doing what i love to do and then my family started asking me to take pictures for them then i eventually got paid for it which is great i love you guys very much probably not watching this because you don't know about my youtube channel but in the future you probably will just want to appreciate you guys appreciate you very much um then around the beginning of that time i started getting into film which i've talked about before and i film cameras are the best they are kind of a hassle when you have to develop the film right here it, it's a hassle it is uh I haven't even developed developed any of my films, so like you know. But I do recommend it because, as I said in my last videos, you learn the basics on here. You know, you learn shutter speed, you learn aperture, and you learn ISO. So it's it's pretty simple. You learn on there, then you can take that experience and take it into a camera, uh, a different camera. You know, like manual settings. Um, after that, I kind of gave up on film because these things are expensive and i just continued with my iphone then not till recently this year um my birthday yeah this year my birthday i got my dream camera the sony a6000 so i got this camera and it's it's awesome yeah it's, it's awesome i don't i don't know what to say about it it's uh it's my first love i'm just kidding I'm just kidding I'm just kidding and from there I just take pictures now i mean that's that's really it um i'm still learning things so that's great so i'm really excited to continue with photography and i can't wait to see in the future where i go and you know to see my future photography for herself i don't know what i'm saying anymore i'm just gonna put up some pictures at the end um that i've taken so far on that camera i haven't even uploaded them to my phone you know what never mind forget about that i'm gonna show you though still so you i'm gonna show you some that i took today outside because i put those on my phone but other ones i haven't put on my phone the first thing i did with this camera was long exposure i don't know if you can see it can you see it I don't know if you can see it. There you go, I guess. All right, that's the first thing I did with this camera. I did long exposure because iPhone, you can't do long exposure. And yeah, you can't do long exposure. 
you also can't do manual settings on iPhone either. So I also did that. Um, that was the first thing I did on here. Another thing that I also did was bokeh, burly background. You can't do that on iPhone unless you do portrait mode, but you can't really do portrait mode unless you have a portrait. So I don't know. I, I just like this camera because not only is it my first camera, but it's, it's also a good camera. It came out like 2016. We're in 2020. It's still a good camera. You know, you can search up YouTube videos about it and just look it up. So, yeah. I don't really know what to say other than that. Um, like I said, I am really excited to continue with my photography career and see where it takes me and see how I improve and see how I grow. And I still have many things to learn and I'm excited for that. And I can't, I can't wait to keep going, so. Um, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider consider liking, subscribing, commenting. If not, you know, that's that's great. I don't care. Have a good day or night or whatever and peace.